Hello, and today I, um, well this channel is mainly for Minecraft, but I would thought I, I thought I should make a video on some other things also. So, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a ZX Spectrum emulator for a uh, Mac. And if you don't know what ZX Spectrum is, it's basically a program that lets you play games and things like that. Um, it's pretty cool. And f so, um, right here are games, uh, and, um, these, you open it up like this, like, here's The Hobbit, a really good text game. And, um, we're just gonna make this smaller. And you can play it, you can make it really big and really small. Um, and basically, you can download pretty much any game. Let me just show you to give you an idea of how many games there are. They're really old games, but they're really cool. 9,899 games, and then 2,601, uh, text adventure games, and 1,481 educational games. Um, so those are the games. Anyway, this is how you get it, and you can play it offline also. So, this is for Mac that I'm showing you. So we're going to want to go down to Mac, oh, Macintosh. Um, this is for Mac OS X, which is what I'm using. So, download Fuse right here. You want to click on this and download it, which I have right here, as you can see. Um, after you download it, you want to go into your downloads and open it up. It will be in a folder like this. Just open up the Fuse application. You don't have to ignore all that other stuff. But you want to drag it into your bar down here so you can open it up really quickly. So now when you open up, which I did right now, you're just going to come up with this kind of blank screen. That's good. That means it's working. If it's not, that means that you did something wrong. Now that you've entered Fuse, now you can download games. And how you do this is this is a, a certain kind of things so you can only download certain kinds of games so um, let's go to best games and just click on one show you how to download it um, or actually I'm going to go to text adventures and download one uh, best adventures the hobbit now um, this is how you see when you look at here here are all the downloads right you want to download generally the first one on the list and it has to say dot tx tzx dot zip because it's emulator use right here is for dot tzx games so that's what you want to download don't download anything with like dot gif you want to download dot tzx and i usually like to choose the first one just because that's usually the original re release and i trust that the most um so yeah that's pretty much what you want to do uh if you i'll show you some cool games that are my favorite if you want so you, you can just stop this video if you want to explore on your own uh, I recommend The Hobbit for text adventure games. For um, normal games, I recommend all you can find them by just searching under the things. Wizard's Lair, uh, which is this awesome game where you are basically a wizard and you can go around. Oh, there's the music. Okay, we can play this game now. Yeah, you go around like this, kind of shoot things. And yeah, I'm not shooting right now, but I haven't configured the controls. You also want to generally download games where you can configure your controls. Uh, Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo, that's also a really good game. Uh, it's kind of underrated. Uh, basically, you go around and you collect things and kill things. See, as you can see, I'm doing this right now. Um, yeah. Uh, any other cool games? Let's see, I showed you The Hobbit, I showed you Scooby-Doo, I just kind of downloaded it, I didn't know what it was, that's not very good. So, also Manic Miner, I recommend. Which is, uh, yeah, you're basically like a little miner guy, and you're going around trying to get those keys, and then you win the level, and then you go on to the next one. Um, so yeah, that was just a quick tutorial on how to get, uh, Fuse to work on your Mac. Now, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all.